Do you have courage? Well, when I think about courage, right, I automatically think of Wizard of Oz, right? The cowardly lion, right? Super duper weird, right? Just a lion walking around, number one. But also thinking about having courage, right? I feel like a lion is this symbol of courage. But again, right, besides that, right, do you have courage? Well, I looked up on the internet five different things we need courage for on a daily basis. Number one being trying a food you have never tried before. Number two, engaging in a new experience. Number three, asking someone out on a date. Number four, doing something that might be a little bit risky, like riding a bike <laughs> or skydiving. Number five, standing up for someone who is being bullied. Do you have courage? Right, these five different things, right, you need courage for. And so the Lord wants to encourage us to have courage, right, to have courage and walk in faith. And so we're in Psalms chapter 27. If you want to turn there and really, man, read through that chapter, it's a great encouragement, but I'm only going to read Psalms chapter 27, verse 1 through 3. Verse 1 stating, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked came against me to eat up my flesh, my enemies and foes, they stumbled and fell. Verse 3, Though an army may encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war may arise against me, in this I will be confident. And so just these three verses, right, we see David and his stance and understanding of the fact that if God is for him, no one can be against him, right? Paul also states this in Romans chapter 8, verse 31, right? If God is for us, who can be against us, right? No one, right? And so I want to encourage you to have courage in God and the things of God. And to walk forward in faith, knowing that if God is for you, no one can come against you. And if you look at the rest of chapter 27 of Psalms, right, we see David taking that stance. But even within this Psalm, David has this moment of doubt, right? And you can see it as well, but how he gets over this doubt is very important. And that is by remembering what the Lord has done for him. And so for you guys as well, I want to encourage you, when you run into opposition, and you will, right? When you walk in faith, you will run into discouragement. Remember what the Lord has done for you, right? The salvation He has brought you, but even in your own life, right? All the great things He has done. Furthermore, David says that he will lean into God, right? And ask the Lord to teach him and lead him in his righteousness and in his spirit. And so, man, when you run into encouragement, number one, remember the Lord and the things he has done, but also don't give up, but lean harder into God. Man, read his word, pray and walk in the spirit. And so, man, I don't know what God is calling you in 2021, but I want to encourage you. And man, David wants to encourage you through God's word, right? To be of good courage. To be of good courage and to walk in faith. To move in faith. Man, 2021, right? We don't know when Jesus is returning, but I can tell you, right? He's coming soon. Whatever God is calling you to, this year, today, do it. Walk in faith. Be of good courage and move in faith. My name is Jonah and that's my encouragement for you today. Psalms 27, read it. It's awesome. But again, have courage. Be of good courage and move in faith. God bless you guys.